If I'm having money problems and I'm having some real financial challenges and it feels like there's not enough money in my life, there's just not enough money. I'm just running out of money and, and I, I don't see any more money coming in soon and, and there's not enough money and you know, I, I need more money and I'm really having a financial challenge. We've all had moments like that in our lives. If I'm having one of those moments, you know what the best thing I could do? The best thing that is that I could do? Give whatever money I do have away. That's, that seems so counterintuitive. It's just the opposite of what people do. When people have very little money and they, and they think they're running out of money, they start hoarding it or whatever it might be, food or money or energy or even love. When we think that we are running short of something, we start hoarding what it is that we see, think that we're running short of. When just the opposite is what unleashes the creative energy that alters the incoming uh, experience and shifts it and changes it. And I'll tell you why, for instance. So now let's imagine that I think that I'm running out of money. The fastest way for me to change the energetic, to change the energetic signature, uh, to change my thought that I don't have enough money is to give it to somebody else. Go down the street, walk through your town and find somebody who has less money than you do. You won't have to go far, a few blocks. You'll find somebody, usually very quickly, sometimes it's a street person, somebody who's actually living on the street because they have no place to live. But you'll find somebody who has less money right now than you do, even though you think you have very little, you think you're running out, you can easily find someone who has even less. When you find someone who has even less, give them some of what little you have. Now why would you do that? because it sets up an energetic signature. How can I put this philosophically? It tells the universe what you feel is true about you and the universe will always mirror. It will always reflect back to you exactly what you tell it is true for you. That is what you say to the universe, the universe says back to you. So when you start giving your money away, even though you think you have very little and you're running out of money, what you're saying to the universe is, I have enough. I actually have enough. In fact, I have so much, I can actually give some of it to somebody else. This is a demonstration of my highest truth. My lowest truth is, oh my gosh, I'm running out of money. I don't have enough. I don't have enough. I don't have enough. But the highest truth is, you know what? I do have enough. I have so much that I can actually give it to somebody else. And the universe goes, we get it. We get it. And the universe begins to supply you with the experience that you have supplied it. You have shown the universe that you have enough and the universe then shows you that you have enough. The universe is just a copying machine. Do you understand that? The universe is like a duplicating machine. It's like a Xerox machine. It actually duplicates and sends through the machinery exactly what you put into it. Whatever you put in is what comes out magnified. Hat dir dieses Video gefallen? Gib uns ein Zeichen und lasse einen Daumen nach oben da. Bist du interessiert an weiteren solchen kostenlosen Videos? Dann abonniere unbedingt unseren Kanal und drücke die Benachrichtigungsglocke, denn nur so stellst du sicher, dass du kein weiteres Video verpasst. Danke dir und bis zum nächsten Video.